All right, sorry for the rain. It's been quite rainy, but if I remove this real quick, because that's pretty shiny. We're on to the bodywork stage here. I got rust repair, and we'll see how this lays in here. I just cut out some of the pieces. We'll see, this is kind of going to lay in here, kind of sort of like this. And then, I guess I can flip it over. That's not the exact orientation, but actually, let's turn the light off. Let's see how this is going to lay in here. And I still, have to, I still have to take that paint off. And then, you know, this piece is going to go in here. And then I have these other holes on the side to do. And you can actually, these are visible from the outside. But they're not super terrible. And then, pretty much just have to find a filler for this, for the where the wheel well would be. Well, not the wheel well, the uh, spare wheel holder area. And then, other than that, there's a few holes here on the the uh, trunk seal lip, and then plenty of hole floorboard holes that we have to fill. Well, not fill. We have to. I mean, yeah, we have to fill it. I gotta patch it. And then I have this rust up along the window so and this isn't too bad along the window trim, the window seal lip here it's not terrible so i really i'm just gonna wire wheel this down and paint it i'm not gonna sit here and like completely redo that and then on the engine bay i don't have a whole lot although there is a crack on the passenger side as you can see here i don't know if there is you can't really see the light through there but pretty much there's a total of 14 holes in the floorboards we have to patch you can see a large one there and then i have to figure out a way to line up the seat studs because they have been completely ripped out and this is what they're supposed to look like. So I have to redo those and then, you know, just a bunch of little pinholes here and there. Other than that, this car is completely rust free. Well, that, that was pretty bad. It's not rust free, but once I'm done with that, it will be rust free. And then I just have, you know, it's not terrible, but there's a few pinholes right where the gas pedal goes and that's just about it. But the body is straight for the most part and the paint's pretty good on it so we're going to be finishing it up here the goal is to finish it by the end of the year so before new year's this will be driving on out of here the engine's coming along pretty good i have i only need a couple more things i only need to get the crank main bearings and the rod bearings and then i need to get the piston rings ordered. Other than that, this block needs to get sent off to be hot tanked, and I need to get the bushings for the transmission shift linkage, because this is really sloppy. So we're going to get a new cup, and then we're going to get new bushings, we're going to get, uh, what are the other bushings? Oh yeah, the other bushings are in the lower arm here. So there's a total of like six bushings that go in there, and then there's that plastic cup where the ball joint for the shift arm goes and that's then I'm just gonna clean the transmission up and that's gonna be it because that's a good transmission and then I have to get the flywheel refaced resurfaced so but then the clutch the clutch over here this has actually got a lot of meat left on it for a 200 something thousand mile car that I got it out of this clutch has a lot of meat left on it so we're sending it with that clutch um, it's easy to pull them out anyway so hell if it doesn't work I'll just pull it out it's not a big deal but yeah, that's the update, and then you have the doors over there, and the rest of the parts. Everything I need, I just need time now. So, it's a little quick update. Get another one out, another day.